my entire life, I struggled with asthma, like very serious asthma. And um, because of that, I took COVID-19 extremely seriously. Before I went to jail, I never ate in a restaurant. If I went to um, get groceries, I went fast. I started wearing a mask before the CDC um, recommended wearing a mask. In fact, the Dr. Fauci said, don't wear masks. And I got on YouTube because I'm on the internet every day. And I told everyone to wear masks. I said, let's make it cool. I remember when that happened, it was when Miley had her show and she brought that one girl who, um, she's, I think her family's from Kosovo or something like that, or Serbia, or I don't know where, and she lived in England and she's a very famous singer, probably Dua Lipa or something like that. And she was like, uh, let's make everyone cool. Wait, it might not have been her, it might have been someone else. I can't remember who it was. All I remember is someone said, let's make wearing masks cool. And I was like, I should help. So I'm gonna start wearing a mask and telling everyone to wear masks, even though Dr. Fauci said not to. One of the reasons I did that is because I had this theory that viruses mutate based on the amount of opportunities they have to mutate. And I didn't want this virus to ever mutate to the point that um, it got super difficult to deal with, which it is still not mutated to that point. But I don't think I want to give the virus an opportunity. And so, uh, or I, I didn't believe that we should give the virus an opportunity to mutate. And so I thought we should really contain the virus as much as possible until we found a vaccine, which meant that we should completely change our economy, which means we should basically put everyone on food stamps and house stamps. So that was my theory. Um, and then the government went with the opposite theory, which was um, win with the economy and I'll win voters because the election's coming and everyone really likes the fact that they still have money. And uh, I understand um, where Trump was going with that. But uh, all I'm saying is I took the coronavirus very seriously and that's why I skipped my grandmother's funeral and there's no funeral in the world I could ever skip like my grandmother's funeral because there is no person other than my immediate family that matters to me. Well, uh, at least that, I mean, before, other than Miley <clears throat> and I mean, and I mean, I have friends too, but all I'm saying, but re in reality, like there's no person like my, like, I mean, I, I, if Miley died, I would not be as heartbroken as, oh no, it'd be the same right now. But I'm talking about like, I'm, what I'm saying is, I, I shouldn't compare how sad I'd be, but all I'm saying is my grandmother was like the most important person ever to me and I skipped her funeral because I was afraid of the plane, because I was afraid of, of being trapped in a small space with a bunch of people, kind of like jail. So, I broke quarantine to go to jail. That's the only reason I've broken quarantine. I've been around people outside, no one near me, but I've, I've been outside with no mask on. Um, I, I think that like I'm going to breathe in fresh air. That's just how I am, I, especially because I live in a spread out area. But I haven't gone inside without a mask and I have like I haven't even been eating takeout. I've been like, I'm going to get food from one location because I like if someone gets it there, I'm screwed no matter what. Um, but. I decided like I'm basically going to go to the grocery store and, 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 live, and eat that way because it, it makes it less probable that I'll get the disease because I was that serious about COVID-19. So that leads me to my serious problem, to the serious problem I have with the voting plan right now. Everyone on Twitter is going, my plan is to vote in person early. And it's like, okay, that's fine. If voting early sounds like it's possible um, because you, or it sounds like it can still be safe. Because if you're voting in person early, no one's there except for you and the pollster. The pollster has got, come across everyone, but that doesn't mean they've actually come across everyone's disease. Um, it's not, you're not packing a small amount of people or a, a large amount of people into a small space at least. And it looks like everyone's kind of spreading out. Um, but still, are people really spreading out? Probably not. And we do know this is an airborne disease and we do know that it can stay in the air for like two hours. So if someone coughs in that room, doesn't mean you're going to get it, but it means you have you have pretty good. It, it means it's there. Um, and for some of us, getting this disease 
is like a death sentence because our, because our, because our lungs. And uh, that's why I was so determined not to have to go to court. And I think that's why the judge held me in contempt of court because I criticized the judge. And he still hasn't told me exactly, well, what he said is the reason I was in contempt of court is because I talked twice but when I was my own lawyer. But uh, I feel like uh, the reason I was in contempt of court must have been something bigger, and I'm still trying to figure out why, and I, I, I wish the judge had explained that to me because now I'm afraid to make videos about anything. I don't know who I can criticize. But who I'm criticizing right now is the federal government not putting in a plan for voting over the phone. Because I can come up and I can go get my phone out and I can go say, here's my paperwork, here's proof that I um, live here or whatever, that, um, kind of like when you go to the DMV. And here, here's, here's a water bill that says my name on it. Here's my ID, um, you can record this part. And then um, that part is the part that they store to prove your identity. And then the rest of the vote they don't store, but you can dictate your vote over the phone because that's fine. As long as I can see you, as long as I have proof that it's you, um, that's fine. But the big problem is, um, um, do we really want to allow people to, um, vote over the phone because we're worried there, they can, people from other States can do it. And I think what we can actually do is like, you already go to the grocery store, just pick up this physically from the grocery store. It's a coop. It's a, it's a receipt from your local grocery store. Okay. And then next thing you know, that's how we're verifying that you're actually in your city. But I, I'm, my understanding is you can still vote from a distance as long as you uh, are proving your identity in, in the regular election. Anyways, all I'm saying is, um, I believe we should allow people to vote from over the phone because some people like me, our plan to vote is not to vote. And the reason we're not voting is because um, it feels dangerous to vote. Kind of like like going to vote for, for me feels like going to jail, which is like terrifying because I am so high risk for COVID-19. And so you can say, we can make sure the polls are safe. I promise we're gonna wipe down the pens or whatever. Um, but for me, um, Psychologically, I'm, I, I'm, I have a phobia of the vote of the polling of the voting centers, and I'm not going to vote. And that's why I think this is an unconstitutional election unless you're allowing people to vote over the phone. I think you could do it right now. I think you could do it before the election because you just have to use an existing company. Um, you could just use who is it? Zoom right now or whatever. Um, you could use um, Microsoft Skype. Um, you could use, um, you could probably use Snapchat DMs, like direct messages, uh, direct messages with us. But I mean, really like you need to have a conversation. So I feel like you, you can use, um, zoom. It makes sense. And I, I'm pretty sure they have encryption, right? Like, but th that's for business grade. Well, let's spend some money that, or let's, let's get into a bidding where I guarantee you Microsoft can do it too. Cause Skype, um, all right, so I'm for changing, I, I'm for people feeling safe when they vote. I'm for me being willing to vote, which I'm not gonna vote. I didn't vote last year either um, because I felt like Hillary Clinton and, and um, Donald Trump were pretty similar, like morally. Um, yeah, I, I, at some point I do think the president should have a conscience.